there are two possible reasons you clicked on this video. One, you are a fan of Metal Gear Solid, and the second, you are curious. My job here today is to inform you about the lesson to be learned from Metal Gear Solid 2's ending. First, let me explain what Metal Gear Solid 2 is about. Metal Gear Solid 2 is about Foxhound member Raiden and his journey in dismantling a terrorist organization called Dead Cell. In his journey, he finds out about the Patriots, which are essentially the boogeymen of society, always pulling strings from the shadows. One example of their doings is rigging the presidential election, which we find out from President Johnson. Designed. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. And later on in the game, we find out that the Patriots used Raiden as a child soldier in his younger days, turning him into a monster among men. Big Bad Solid Snake finds this out when Raiden doesn't recognize him, as he practically raised Raiden. With the disfiguring of Raiden's psyche, we find out that Raiden has suppressed that portion of his memory, and it made him the perfect candidate for the Patriots to use. Since this is getting confusing, let's skip to the end of the game, where Raiden defeats Solidus and is staring at the building. After the complete mindfuck that is the ending portion of Metal Gear Solid 2, he wonders who he really is. Snake snaps him out of it by telling him no one truly knows what or who they are. To give some insight as to why Raiden is wondering this, this is because throughout the entire story of Metal Gear Solid 2, he has been lied to about his mission. The entire time making him wonder who to trust and who to listen to. After it all, he has an existential crisis. Now, to get back to what he and Snake were talking about. It reveals more than what it lets on at first. At first glance, it's self-explanatory. Raiden needs to rebuild himself anew from the ground up. See, simple. But this is more important than it seems. See, the message of Metal Gear Solid 2 is that you will always be lied to. Let me explain. When you boot up the game, you first see Snake. In the trailers leading up to the game's release, you see Snake. You never see Raiden. And when you play the game, you play a snake for the first 30 minutes or so before you take control of Raiden. Which, at this point, if you are a hardcore fan of Snake, you probably ejected the disc and asked for the right copy. But see, the player and Raiden are more similar than they seem, albeit in less hard terms. They both have been lied to for the entirety of the game. How players accept the role of playing as Raiden, Raiden accepted the role of being Solid Snake as the entire game is a one-to-one -one recreation of the Shadow Moses incident. At the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 1, Snake has swam into an underground dock, snuck past patrol guards, and waited for an elevator to descend, boarded the elevator, and then infiltrated a military complex. Raiden does the exact same thing in Metal Gear Solid 2. The only time the game isn't an alternate iteration of Metal Gear Solid 1 is after the torture sequence, when Raiden is given a sword. For once in the game, Raiden is not trying to be Snake, and the player is truly playing as Raiden. Raiden is the only person in the game who can wield the sword comfortably, unlike Snake, who only specializes in gunfighting. Through the sword, we learn Raiden as how we learn Snake. So to go back to the conversation between Raiden and Snake at the end of the game, it's more than Raiden rebuilding himself. It is speaking to the viewer also, telling them that although Raiden wasn't Snake, he was the player, someone who wanted to be Silent Snake, someone who admired him as a leader and a great companion. At the end, when Raiden throws away the dog tag with the player's name on it, it is an allusion to moving on in life. Metal Gear Solid 2 is a game that is meant to be enjoyed, but ultimately you must move on from it. All the lies and misinformation given to Raiden must be forgot about to move on fully. Sometimes in life you get a bad hand of cards and wonder who or what you are and how you're going to get through it. And sometimes you have to abandon your old self to live anew. Thank you for watching the video. This has been Kid Stain, and later.